say hello to the Blandings turtle. These adorable smiling turtles have been an important part of the Chicago Academy of Sciences Peggy Notabart Nature Museum since 2008. Since then, the museum has been a proud partner in the DuPage Forest Preserve District's Blandings Head Start program. Blandings turtles are native to Illinois, but even if you visited their common habitats, like quiet marshes and prairie wetlands, you'd be lucky to come across one. These beautiful turtles are endangered in Illinois and are listed as endangered, threatened, or as a species of concern in other states like Indiana, Wisconsin, and Michigan. In addition to habitat loss, one of the biggest threats to Blanding's turtles is predators eating their eggs in the nest. The eggs incubate for 60 days before the hatchlings emerge, and 90% of nests are destroyed during that period. That's where the Forest Preserve District of DuPage County and the Nature Museum come in. To give these turtles the best chance of survival possible, scientists collect female Blanding's turtles in the spring before they lay their eggs. Once the eggs are laid, the mother turtles are released and the eggs are collected and incubated at the Forest Preserve. Once the baby turtles hatch, they are distributed to partners, like the Nature Museum, to be reared for one to two years. This head starting period gives these turtles a chance to grow and get stronger before being released back into the wild. Many of the hatchlings are brought to the Nature Museum. That means we typically get about 100 Blandings turtles every year. While they're at the museum, they are cared for behind one-sided glass and have minimal contact with our animal caregivers. Since these babies will eventually be released into the wild, this helps ensure that they don't become habituated to humans. Thanks to their special tanks, you can still get an inside peek and watch them grow. It's an amazing opportunity to help teach everyone about these state endangered animals and how we all have a role to play in their conservation. Did you notice the white numbers on their shells? This helps Lilania Goldsberry, our manager of living collections, and the rest of our animal caretakers tell them apart. This ensures everyone gets fed, weighed, and monitored properly. When they are newly hatched, the tiny turtles are quite delicate, so their tanks are only filled with shallow water. As they grow, our caretakers deepen the water and strengthen the current, so the turtles learn how to swim and develop the strength they need to survive in the wild. After the turtles have been reared for a year, Lelania and her team will join the team from the DuPage Forest Preserve District to safely release them into the wild. Their numbers are covered and their release locations are kept secret to help keep them safe. But the scientists are able to keep track of their growth and progress. How? Through implanted microchips. Careful tracking helps the researchers keep track of survival rates and also lets them know when one of the previously head started females has reached maturity and has started laying eggs of her own. Over the last 25 years, the Blandings Head Start program has successfully released 3,900 turtles into the wild. And that is something worth smiling about. <laughs>